that's how life is sometimes, you know. You're just going with the flow and then you lose it. But as you go through life, you start to learn through a lot of lessons, many of them hard, that which you lose that's meant for you, it comes back. And a lot of us, um, we're stuck in these loops that are bound to certain emotions. And when you're feeling in that emotion, you can't really make a very proactive choice and direction or response. But when you've been through enough pain and things and you've had to dull out because things just felt too overwhelming, you get into that apathetic state and you detach a bit. And then as you drift back, you start to fall into resonance with certain things which bring you into different emotions. And then when those loops come back, you're seeing it from a different perspective and then you're in the automatic response and you're making moves. And then after you've done your moves, you realize that you were caught back in the loop. But instead of falling back into the hole, you accept it. You forgive it and you realize that you're not going to make the mistake again or you're going to approach it differently from here on out. And since you're putting that kind of energy into focus, you know, you start to feel that life is ritual and that's why you bring your attention to form. And when you bring your attention to form, if you've got a plan, if you have a direction, if you have an idea, then you can succeed. And it becomes the holy edifice of what it is you're transforming inside you on the back end. So it's from shadow to light, you know, instead of the light casting shadows, it's the shadows casting the light. And I feel with this uh, Scorpio South Node during this time that that's what this is, shadows to light. So assess, don't dwell, make notes, <laughs> do something creative for yourself. There's a lot of tension. I can feel it. I've had a headache all week. Haven't been able to sleep. Other than that, I feel good. I feel happy. I'm fortunate. I'm grateful. It's... I don't know, I feel alive when I'm in the fire. And I don't really like that. But I um, kind of do. <laughs> That's the airy south node, you know. You see the traps of that ocean of fire, you become it as you fall into it and burn down into the pure refinement of what it is. But 
but you burn down so that you can come back into new form and that's what we're doing now so just keep um, your perspectives open take in new ones and see what the distinctions are between what you feel what you know and what you're seeing or what another person is bringing to you that's how you find common ground because if people have the intent to heal and grow that's what happens you know the laws of relation it creates friction that's dynamics that's life Reframe the ideas of karma, dharma, all these things. Forget the meanings of these things, not literal words. Who gives a shit about that? Get to the deep stuff. Okay, we're going from Sag into Scorpio. Why was the belief there and are you going to shut it? <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching.